Good evening, honored guests. My name is Carol Coyne, co-chair of the Red Ribbon Celebration Committee. It is my pleasure to serve as your Master of Ceremony for the first ever virtual Red Ribbon Recognition Evening Ceremony. We wish we could celebrate with you all in person to honor your talented students who submitted entries in the 2020 Red Ribbon Creative Writing and Poster Contest. We are so proud of these amazing students who took a concrete step against youth, tobacco, alcohol, and other drug abuse by creating written and artistic entries that embody the 2020 Red Ribbon theme, Be Happy, Be Brave, Be Drug Free. Youth substance abuse can have devastating consequences, such as mental health issues, broken relationships, poor or declining health and feelings of isolation. However, we know how to address this. We know that prevention can greatly reduce the scope of this problem. A consistent prevention message from home, school, community, and friends will have the greatest impact. That is why we are so grateful that these talented young people are willing to be the student voice for change. We commend you. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce Corona Norco Unified School District's School Board President, Mary Ibarra, to provide our welcome and opening remarks. Good evening, parents, students, teachers, site administrators, and honored guests. My name is Mary Ibarra, and I am the president of the Corona Norco Unified School District Board of Education. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 virtual Red Ribbon Recognition Evening. The Red Ribbon Campaign is celebrated annually from October 23rd through October 31st throughout the country and the world. The Red Ribbon symbol is used today as an opportunity for students, families, and community members to make a visible commitment against drugs and as a call to action. Our students have demonstrated their commitment to a drug-free world through their art and creative writing. Tonight, we will be honoring students who have participated in our local 2020 Red Ribbon Student Creative Writing and Poster Contest and have won either first, second, or third place in their grade category, kindergarten through second grade, third grade through fifth grade, sixth grade through eighth grade, and ninth grade through twelfth grade. The contest is sponsored by Chad Zeller Memorial Trust, United Neighbors involving today's youth, Unity, and the Corona Norco Red Ribbon Celebration Committee. The theme this year is Be Happy, Be Brave, Be Drug Free. All cash prizes have been donated by the Chad Zeller Memorial Trust. Mike and Nancy Zeller, we want to thank you for your ongoing support. We couldn't do this without you. Winning CNUSD poster contest entries are then entered in the Riverside County Carol Addis Student Drug Use Prevention Poster Contest sponsored by the Riverside University Health Systems in partnership with the Riverside County Office of Education. Winning County Contest entries will be featured in a Celebration of Riverside County Youth School Youth Calendar, which is distributed to school districts throughout the county. I want to express my heartful gratitude to our parents, teachers, and site administrators for your collective efforts to foster the development of these young talents. Your encouragement has truly borne fruit. Our students could not have achieved the success they have reached tonight without your gracious support. Students, you have made us all very proud. Your artistry and creative writing have inspired us. We congratulate you on your outstanding performance and hard work. Best wishes to all and thank you. And remember, be happy, be brave, and be drug-free. Thank you, Mary, for those inspiring words. 
Next, I would like to introduce our student representative to the Red Ribbon Committee, Mateo Meza, an 11th grade student at Santiago High School, who will tell us about the history of the Red Ribbon Celebration. Hello, my name is Mateo Meza, and I'm a junior at Santiago High School. Last month, many schools across the country recognized Red Ribbon Week, and I'd like to share some history about the drug awareness campaign that began 35 years ago. The Red Ribbon Campaign began in 1985 in Calexico, California, to remember DEA Special Agent Enrique Camarena, who was tortured and killed earlier that same year by drug traffickers in Mexico. Calexico was Kiki Camarena's hometown, and the public wanted to honor this agent who gave his life in the war against drugs. His friends and family started wearing red satin badges, and parent-formed coalitions adopted the red ribbon as a symbol of Kiki's memory. The following year, the Red Ribbon Campaign gained momentum across the state of California, and the first Red Ribbon celebrations were held in La Mirada and Norwalk. In 1988, the Red Ribbon Campaign was endorsed by the country's highest office when the National Family Partnership coordinated the first National Red Ribbon Week with President Ronald Reagan and First Lady Nancy Reagan serving as honorary chairpersons. Today, the Red Ribbon serves as a catalyst to mobilize communities to educate youth and encourage participation in drug prevention activities. And every year, Red Ribbon Week celebrations are held across the country from October 23rd to the 31st. In addition to remembering fallen hero Kiki Camarena, Red Ribbon Week gives us the opportunity to present a positive, unified, and visible commitment toward a drug-free America. Thank you, Mateo. We are very fortunate as a district to receive tobacco use prevention education funding from the California Department of Education. These funds allow us to provide, among other things, fantastic youth development opportunities for our students related to tobacco use prevention. Our entertainment for this evening is Music Notes, a group of teachers who are also tobacco prevention rappers. They give students the opportunity to develop their own prevention raps. Take it away, Music Notes. No smoke, no smoke, I'm tobacco free Raise your right hand, repeat after me Say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke I will never smoke, I will never smoke No smoke, no smoke, I'm tobacco free Raise your right hand, repeat after me Say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke I will never smoke, I will never smoke You wanna live a healthy life, stay tobacco free Say no, say no to the nicotine It wrinkles up your skin, it damages your heart you want a healthy body smoking, you should never start It causes bad breath and it stains your teeth It damages your brain and affects the way you speak It makes your muscles hurt, it makes your gums bleed It causes cancer and that's a deadly disease You want to grow strong, you want to reach your dreams You should never smoke, never smoke, be tobacco free Don't buy it, never ever try it Better life for you and me when you live tobacco free No smoke, no smoke, I'm tobacco free Raise your right hand, repeat after me Say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke, I will never smoke, I will never smoke. No smoke, no smoke, I'm tobacco free. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. Say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke, I will never smoke, I will never smoke. Please say no to tobacco, it's all bad, so stay away. Your heart, lungs, and brain fall apart when you smoke. Heart attacks, lung cancer, and strokes when you smoke. Say no to smoke. Nicotine is a thing that makes you addicted. Skinny smoker, they don't like the addiction So say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke That's right, you only get one life One in five people that die, die from smoking Smoking makes you sick, and it's really hard to quit Plus, secondhand smoke affects 58 million And secondhand smoke kills 400 children No smoke, no smoke, I'm tobacco free Raise your right hand, repeat after me Say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke I will never smoke, I will never smoke no smoke, no smoke, I'm tobacco free Raise your right hand, repeat after me Say, I will never smoke, I will never smoke I will never smoke, I will never smoke
Wow, that was exciting. Thank you, Music Notes. I would now like to introduce to you Mike and Nancy Zeller. Mike and Nancy have been serving our community for 29 years through the Chad Zeller Memorial Trust. They have been an integral part of the Corona Norco Red Ribbon celebration since its inception. We are truly grateful that they have chosen to champion the health and safety of our students through the Red Ribbon Poster and Creative Writing Contest. Thank you, Mike and Nancy. We love you. It's a pleasure for my wife, Nancy, and I to announce the award winners for the Poster Essay Contest for Red Ribbon Week on behalf of the Chad Zeller Memorial Fund, our nonprofit. We are especially pleased that we are able to do this during this COVID-19 times. Uh, some history of our organization and our participation. In April of 1991, our son Chad, an 11-year-old Prouderview Elementary student, was riding his bike with his friends on Surface Club Drive and was hit by a speeding driver and was killed. It was devastating for our family, our friends, and the community. Right. Um, a year later, we established our nonprofit with a mission of bicycle safety, uh, physical fitness, and drug awareness. Uh, over the years, over the last 20 years, we've done carnivals and walks and raised funds uh, to support the community, and we've given away over uh, 10,000 helmets to needy children in the Corona area. Uh, we've participated in different events during the year. Day of the Child, which is on uh, at City Park, we give away helmets. We also participate with Bicycles for Children, a John White organization out of El Cerrito that gives bicycles at uh, Christmas time to needy children, and we provide helmets for that. Um, Yearly, we participate in all these events, and when Ribbon, Ribbon was established, we decided that we wanted to give cash awards to uh, Red Ribbon for the posters and essays. And we found this was very satisfying, and it's one of our favorite events of the year, right? We love coming here, seeing the students, seeing the parents. Uh, in fact, I, I wrote this line, and I think it's good. Uh, we love seeing all the children receive their awards, with their parents beaming with pride. And it's such a wonderful thing to see what wonderful things the uh, children have done and their parents should be proud of that. Uh, I wanna thank the Corona Norco Unified School District, Carol Coyne, Robin Jones, uh, all the teachers that participated and the staff and volunteers. Without them, uh, this wouldn't happen. They put a lot of hard work during these special times. Right? Uh, and it made it possible today. Today we are awarding uh, cash prizes for first, second, and third place in each category of poster and essay and for each grade level. Third place winners will receive $40, uh, second place winners will receive $60, and first place winners will receive $75. It is our pleasure to give out the following awards. Our K through two poster winners are third place, Second place. First place. Our K2 Creative Writing winners are third place. Second place. First place. Our third grade through fifth grade poster winners are third place, second place, first place. Our third grade through fifth grade creative writing winners are third place, Second place. First place. Our sixth grade through eighth grade poster winners are 
third place, second place, first place. Our sixth grade through eighth grade creative writing winners are third place, second place, first place. Our ninth grade through twelfth grade poster winners are third place, second place, first place. Our ninth grade through twelfth grade creative writing winners are third place, second place, first place. Thank you again, Mike and Nancy. And now I would like to introduce to you my Red Ribbon co-chair, Robin Jones, who will provide you with some important follow-up information. Good evening, I'm Robin Jones, Red Ribbon co-chair. And on behalf of the Celebration Committee, I wanna personally congratulate all the amazingly talented winners. Many of you are previous winners. While for others, this is your first entrance into this contest. Either way, you inspire us with your artistry and imaginations. As outlined in the contest guidelines, we will be submitting tonight's winning artwork to the 37th annual Riverside County Carol Addis Drug Use Prevention Poster Contest. The winners of this countywide contest will be featured in a beautiful 2021 22 school year calendar. Your Red Ribbon certificate, prize money, and a few other items will be mailed to you next week. We truly hope you enjoy this award ceremony. And now to present this evening's closing remarks, I'm honored to introduce Dr. Sam Benrostro, Superintendent of the Corona Norco Unified School District. Good evening, honored guest. I am Dr. Sam Buendrostro, Superintendent of the Corona Norco Unified School District. As our Red Ribbon Recognition Evening comes to a close, I would like to thank several individuals who made this event possible behind the scenes. I would like to start by thanking Mike and Nancy Zeller, whose long-term support of the Red Ribbon Creative Writing and Poster Contest through this Chat Zeller Memorial Fund has enabled this contest to become so successful. We appreciate your dedication to the health and well-being of CNUSD students. I would also like to thank Carol Coyne and Robin Jones, Red Ribbon co-chairs, for their hard work in organizing the contest and tonight's ceremony. I would also like to thank Lori Lloyd, Martha Ontes from the Health and Wellness Office for their efforts in support of the contest. I would like to thank Mark Gallang from the Communications Department for his hard work in putting this video together I would also like to thank the parents, teachers, and site administrators who encourage our students in their artistic endeavors. You have made such a difference in the lives of our youth. We thank you for your support. And finally, I want to offer a hearty congratulations to our student winners. Your creative writing and poster entries are truly remarkable. We thank you for sharing your talent with us. I am also here to remind you to keep writing Keep creating beautiful works of art. Your vision of a drug-free world may be the spark that leads to positive change in our community. Because of your gifts, someone you may not even know may be inspired to live a more noble and drug-free life. Because of your vision, someone somewhere may walk a little bit taller and think a little bit differently. Here is your task, to believe that your generation can produce unique solutions to the problem of substance abuse, to summon your courage to face the problem head on, and to apply the creative and ingenuity we have glimpsed tonight to accomplish the goal of a drug-free world. We are counting on you. We believe in you and congratulations and good night. And remember, 
Be happy, be brave, and drug-free. Congratulations. Have a good night.